All of the work we do is done on the near side or left hand side of the vehicle so that we do have to re, um, re-secure our loads uh, in the middle of a trip. We're standing on the footpath and not the traffic side of the road. So we first attach the rope to the driver's side or the near side by use of what we call a clove hitch. The method of doing a clove hitch is to hold the rope in that fashion as though you're, as though you're going to shake someone's hand. Put the thumb above the rail with the fingers push the rope into the palm of the hand. Pull the rope through maintaining exactly the same grip. Do the same thing to the right side of the rope. Thumb above the rail and pull the rope through with the thumb above the rail. Pull the rope down, up with the left hand and that will tension the clove hitch. We're not allowed to have more than a hundred mil or a four inch tail. It's probably quite wise at this point anyway to do a half hitch on that rope and that's a safety and we'll stop that coming from coming undone. Ensuring that there are no pedestrians, no people or objects on the other side of the vehicle, we then throw the rope over the load. Two basic methods of tying a rope, the shank and a trucky hitch. The shank I'll show you first, we do a loop around combing rail height, hold with the left hand. Right hand up the rope, put a twist in the rope, poke the loop through that twist. Secure there, make another twist and put the loop again through that twist. That's a basic shank. The rope now comes from the rail and through the bottom loop. This we can pull down tight in tension, keep the leg out, tension, pinch to make sure it doesn't come loose and then we do the, the clove hitch, thumb above, pull the rope into the hand, move the rope in close, pull it tight, pinch and complete the clove hitch and pull down tight. The rope comes up here, we have to lose all the loose rope. A lot of people will secure it along the rail. Possibly best to secure it high with a half hitch above the knot so that way it's not dragging around on the road and no more than 100 mil tails. The other knot, probably simpler and more efficient, is the basic truckies hitch or the beehive. Same again, make a loop at combing rail height. The right hand up on the rope in a natural grip. Take the loop above the right hand. The right hand wraps around that once and the second time it wraps in behind it. With both hands, pull that tight and that will all tension. The left hand comes down into the loop. We bring the rope through the rail and it comes through the bottom loop. Pull the rope tight, pulling down, not out, with the leg out in case the knot gives way. Pinch, and we complete the clove hitch. Move it in, pull it tight, pinch it, and clove hitch. The loose rope again has to be stowed away, no more than 100 mil tails on the side of the vehicle. So we'll take that up through the inside of the rail, half hitch above the knot, and half hitch above the knot until the rope is secure. If we have a lot more rope, um, it might be wise to roll that rope up. And it could be tied up there or it could be stowed inside the pallets. That was a basic way to tie the, to tie the, um, the hitches off the truck. You'll find most in the transport industry what a driver will do is come through the rail. Pick the rope up through the inside of that loop and again we're back into that position with a, with a loop in the left hand. Right hand up on the rail, left hand goes up and we make the truckies hitch, pull down tight, pull the rope tight, and pinch. Now this time we have the rope on the left hand side. In order to lock that, you can pull it through, pinch it tight, and straight back to the basic clove hitch where it locks across the rope. Bring the rope in and secure the loose rope above the knot. To undo this knot we simply get our loose rope out, half inches off, undo the clove hitch. This knot will come apart by pulling the back inside loop, lift, pull and the rope comes straight out of the rail. The 
you need to tidily stow the rope, hold the rope in your hand, move your hands roughly the same distance, and you'll get fairly even loops. At this point now there's not enough rope to secure, drop the back loop off, you wrap that around close to the hand, put a loop through the top, and poke the end of the rope through the loop.